Werewolf expansions. Yeah. So these are something that are new um, here at Spiel. Two different Werewolf expansions for Ultimate Werewolf. Okay. Uh, the first one is called Night Terrors. And Night Terrors comes with six new Ultimate Werewolf rolls. So Ultimate Werewolf already comes with 40-some rolls in the box, but these are ones that work specifically at night, do all sorts of cool things at nighttime. Uh, there's the Count, who looks like a sort of a deranged version of the Sesame Street Count, and he actually does count. So at the very beginning of the game, he's told how many werewolves are on each side of the village. So okay. he actually counts one werewolf, two werewolf, three werewolf on each side, which is kind of fun. Uh, there's a thing that goes bump in the night, and the thing actually does go bump in the night. So during the night, the thing will actually tap somebody next to them so that they know that they're the thing and not something else. But only the people next to them are going to know that they're the thing, which is kind oh, of Oh, OK. Uh, there's the insomniac. The insomniac, um, every morning or every night, you know, he's going to find out if someone next to him actually woke up at night. So it might have been a werewolf or one of the good players, like the seer. But he'll actually learn if somebody, one of the two players or both, woke up at night next to him. Uh, there's the dream world who doesn't wake up until one of their fellow werewolves are killed. So they don't know who the other werewolves are and they, the other werewolves don't know who the dream wolf is until the werewolf dies and then the dream wolf wakes up and suddenly um, the dream wolf becomes part of the werewolf team. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. He wasn't switching the camera. <laughs> the uh, boogeyman, this way or this way? This way. Okay. Yeah, to you. Uh, the boogeyman is creepy. very, very creepy, and Boogeyman does two things. First of all, it helps the game speed up, because anytime the werewolves take too long to pick a victim, the Boogeyman comes into play, and he gets to kill anybody who wants to. And so the werewolves don't get to choose, and they, he might even pick the werewolves instead. And the way the Boogeyman wins is, if all the characters that wake up at nighttime are dead, he wins. So he's on his own little team trying to basically kill off the seer and the werewolves and everyone else um, within the game. And finally, the Beholder. The Beholder knows who the Seer is. Doesn't know who the Seer is picking, but she knows who the Seer actually is. So she's kind of helping out the village by when the Seer says something, she can kind of back up the Seer and say, ah, yeah, I totally agree with this person. Um, and protect the Seer, possibly, if the Seer might get lynched. So those are the new ex uh, cards in the Night Terrors expansion. The other expansion that I have for Werewolf, much, much bigger. Yeah. Um, this is a huge, huge expansion. has 40 different cards in it. Uh, this is something that I've been working on for the last several years. It's called Artifacts. And the way it works is that everyone who plays, in addition to their werewolf card, they get an Artifacts card. The Artifact card... Uh, the, art, <laughs> the Artifact cards do all sorts of other things. They give you additional powers um, besides the uh, powers you normally have uh, with your roll card. In fact, if you have a villager card or something that doesn't give you much of a power, these actually give you something else to do that's kind of interesting. So for instance, um, let's pick one here that's fun. Um, yeah, the Orb of Speculation. If you have this artifact card at any point in the game, you can say, I'm going to use my artifact. This artifact lets you pick two players in the game. If both of them are werewolves, the village wins instantly. However, if you're wrong, you die. So it's a shot in the dark. If you feel good about who it is, you can end the game really quick for, and make a win for the village. If you're wrong, you're dead. You're out of the game right huh. away. Um, uh, let's see. Here's another one. The Ring of Truth allows you to ask a yes or no question to any player, and they have to answer it truthfully. It could be something as simple as, are you a werewolf? But if you're a werewolf and you have this, you might ask someone, are you the seer? Or are you a character with a special ability? Or, did you wake up last night? Any of those sorts of things. And they have to answer it truthfully. Um, here's one. The yeah. Acceptor of Rebirth. That allows you to say that after you die, you can display this card and actually stay alive. So, uh, it, it gives you kind of a second, second shot at life. Um, all sorts of other little fun things that add a lot to, to the game. This one's a particularly nasty one. It's the Curse of the Villager. Um, you get to choose a player to lose their special power. Now, the fun thing about that is, if you choose a werewolf to lose their special power, a werewolf's special power is they wake up at night to kill somebody, which means it's a werewolf that can't wake up at night to kill anybody, but they're still a werewolf. Aww. Which means they're kind of a neutered werewolf at that <laughs> point. So, that's, that's there's four different artifacts in here. It works with any version of werewolf. Of course, it works with Ultimate Werewolf Fest, but it works really with any version of werewolf that you have. 
and just adds a lot of other uh, interest to the game.